Good morning. Happy Tuesday. So on Tuesdays, I like to talk about um, ways to eat clean, uh, tips on intermittent fasting, reasons why I do resistance training because it's efficient, and just focus on you know plant-based recipes, kind of, and put these pieces together. So I wanted to focus on eating clean. And for me, that was kind of my, my first step. I won't forget standing in a bagel store with my son. And he wanted Nestle Quick. And I walked over to the, the case and we grabbed it. And at that time, I had seen maybe one or two documentaries on food and read a few articles. and joined, you know, a, a non-GMO uh, group and was really kind of intrigued with food. What, why, why is it that I'm doing all these things? I'm, I'm eating the non-fat, you know, the low fat, I'm eating what they say, I'm taking the shakes, I'm doing the pills, and, but I, I'm not losing, I don't feel better. And when I started to look at the actual ingredients and understanding the food, that we were eating and kind of being fooled by some of these food corporations. I started looking at food differently. So I grabbed that Nestle Quick and I flipped it over. And just going quickly, for like one of the first times reading through the ingredients, it was like cellulose, gorgon, chemicals. And I just seriously, I mean, I'm a pretty educated person. It was like, Putting the syllables together, it was just like, huh, what is this I'm giving to my kid? And I was taking him to school. We were doing, he was discussing a science project. He was in third, third or fourth grade, maybe fifth. And I said to him, you know, wouldn't it be cool if we could like maybe get some food and from stores, some of your favorites, some of the kids' favorites. And and kind of just like explain what the ingredients are. So for a few weeks before his science projects, that's what we did is we went to stores, looked around and, and, and started understanding seriously some of the food that we were eating, gross. Um, and then last night I'm writing my, my blog because my goal is to write, write every day. And writing in my blog is um, a way to kind of help me and teach others at the same time. So I um, I was writing about the 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 beaver. All right. So let's talk about I well first I was taught writing about the beaver anal gland that smells like vanilla and raspberries and. As I'm writing this last night, my daughter walks in and I'm like, you know, oh, I'm writing a little piece about the, the beaver anal gland. Goes up and she goes, oh, vanilla ice cream. And the reason why I even bring it up is there I am teaching my kid um, years ago while I was learning about food. And there I am writing a little blog and I mentioned beaver's anal gland and my daughter thinks ice cream. And for myself, I was kind of like, all right, good. I'm glad I'm getting across. I mean, it's a little uh, like, what the heck? But um, yeah, there's a lot of crap in our food that you might want to just, we have this phone in our hand most of the time. You can easily Google what it is that you're eating. And um, you know, so yeah, it, it could be in your ice cream. Right now it's mostly in perfumes and, and body scents and things like that. But, um, and another one is years and years ago, I think it was about 2012, which makes sense because it's about eight years ago when I started, my eyes were opening uh, to food and Starbucks was becoming so big even at that time, which I still don't get. And um, I came across an article that was explaining that in their pinkest drink, 
grapes that they had. They were using crushed, they were like this uh, the family of ladybugs, um, crushed ladybugs. And it, you know, the whole story was about how people didn't know. And, you know, there are vegetarians who don't really want to go out of their way eating bugs. And, you know, the whole thing was pretty gross. And the thought that, you know, all those little bugs needed a beef to color so you could have extra pink. I don't know. Just, and then what's it do to your body? So that, and then, you know, you even years later, you, now we have all these amazing, wonderful, you know, organic options, right? But if you put them over, they have organic tarragina, which is organic seaweed. Which, okay, seaweed, I mean, it's a filler. It makes your, your ice cream thick and um, the texture right and all that. But many times, you know, people don't understand where their inflammation is coming from. And it happens to be that Caribbean seems to be um, an issue for many people. So while you're thinking you're eating your nice organic ice cream or your, you know, your healthy, expensive organic dessert, you're eating still stuff that you might want to check out and make sure that you're okay with. I mean, yeah, we all have to have a line to it, but um, when they start to use these fillers in more natural or organic or a little more expensive because you think you're doing a little bit better with your choice, and they're still putting in, you know, all these alternate milk products, you know, for cows, a lot of that is seashell and, and paper pulp and guar gums and xanthan gums to make it thick, to make it look like milk. Well, almonds don't look like milk. And oats don't look like cow's milk. Like, so it's only for our appearance of what it looks like, right? So that is why I wanted to hop on today and just talk about eating clean. And uh, the combination for myself, learning how to eat clean and looking at my food and the ingredients, teaching others how to do that, and adding intermittent fasting that I stumbled on, working out and resistance training, which was efficient, low impact, easier on my body to get to where I wanted to be, right? And plant-based was about a year and a half ago now. And I'm really glad I did it. Um, you know, I, I can't say in the last year and a half I've been 100% all the time, but I, when I'm not, I know the difference. And that's pretty crazy because there's many times I'll talk with my clients and they will say, I, you know, I, I kind of, you know, stepped off a little bit or I enjoyed myself a little much this weekend or the holidays. I can't believe how it affects my body. And when you when you feel that way all the time, when you feel like crap, or you're sluggish, or you're bloated, or you're, you know, you have inflammation or whatever, you know, then you don't know the difference. But when you clean it up and you feel better, and then you eat, you know, we all do. We, you know, we all treat ourselves a little bit and we're like, oh. So, you know. That's kind of where um, where I'm at, and that's what I want to talk about. I also want to show you what I'll be doing for the rest of the day. Um, I am going between my my fitness and my creative part, and I it's not finished yet, but I've been working on for um, for a, a, a customer and. I have that. And then what's pretty cool is I love my thrift store. I love finding treasures. And, you know, I love the idea of, of upcycling and trying something different. And these little wooden, I don't know, $2.99 chairs matching. <laughs> I bought and I said, you know what? I just kind of, I've been doing this, you know, animal print thing. Let me do it. So I grabbed that. I've been having.
having fun with that. I have a few more to go. This is another little one that I've been working on. And then I found, again, at the thrift store, this really cool sleigh that actually had, I think, like a wine bottle and grapes or something like that. It's not done yet. But um, I don't know. It just called out to me a little snow, something to do with my kids' first first Christmas. And I'll be getting my hands all uh, painted up and getting my creative side on while listening to my books that I really enjoy learning from. So um, I hope that you had a great day. And if you are interested in, well, I'm sorry, every day my intent is to write on a topic. Tomorrow is going to be uh, working out. You know, uh, I use a lot of different equipment, and there's reasons for it, and they're simple. And to me, you know, I wasn't really like a gym rat, and I liked what I liked. I was talking to a client this week who danced, and she and her husband, um, before COVID, were out dancing all the time. And then I said, well, that's, you know, then COVID came. Uh, they're not dancing, and instead they're home and they're eating, and they each home with you know, treats and goodies, and they're eating, and they're not. And so, you know, she's looking for uh, another thing that she loves to do. And that's what it's about. I mean, I'm not saying that resistance training is the end all be all. I think it's super efficient, and I think that as I age and my injuries, I think it's perfect for so many people. Um, and the combination of clean eating, fasting, adding a little plant-based, if, if you can do it, why not, you should. And working out, it's like that 1% better is just, it's 10 times, it's 10, 10x in it. It's, it's a whole different level. And all it is is putting small pieces together, you know, like paint a little bit on top of a little bit, a little bit and all of a sudden you get a painting you know you get something that's been worked on that you've been worked on you know so um i hope that you have a great tuesday and i'll chat with you tomorrow bye